You're watching Destiny Church. Live your call, fulfill your destiny. My name is Pastor Carlo Panlio, and uh, me and my wife, Shaleen, we have been pastoring Destiny for the last uh, 23 years. And it is a pleasure that you can join us this afternoon. No? Uh, I'd like to welcome those of you that are joining us here in Zoom for the very first time. Welcome po sa inyong lahat. I am glad that you are here with me in this Zoom uh, chat room, in the Zoom meeting room. But also there are people watching us live over Facebook and also via YouTube. Uh, welcome po sa inyong lahat, especially those that are joining us for the very first time. If if it is your first time, please type in first so that we may appropriately uh, uh, welcome you and greet you po. Anyway, indeed, it's such a great time of, uh, of worship. Ano? As we dive into God's Word this uh, this afternoon, uh, saglit po tayo uling manalangin. Can you just uh, uh, pray with me as, as we uh, come before the Lord for the Word? Lord, we just want to thank you, God, for this uh, wonderful afternoon, and I pray that indeed you will allow us to understand, Lord, that uh, that knowing you, knowing Christ, Lord, there is no greater joy in this world than to know you. And I pray, Lord God, that uh, you will encourage us, you will open our eyes to this truth, you will strengthen those who are feeling weak, you would... Uh, you would bring hope to those feeling hopeless. And Lord, you would even he bring healing, Lord God, to those people who are, are feeling sick, Lord God, maybe uh, emotionally, mentally, or even physically sick. Father, we just want to thank you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Just in case you're still standing no, in, in your uh, living room or uh, in, in your uh, wherever you are, you can take your seats for right now. No? So, uh, okay. Uh, today, this afternoon, po, I would like to share. Uh, first, let, allow me to give you the title to this message: no? "The Pursuit of Happiness." Okay? The pursuit of happiness and the incomparable joy of knowing Jesus. This is actually a study from uh, the Book of Philippians or the or the letter of Paul to the Philippian church. No, particularly, nandito na po tayo sa Philippians chapter three. Okay, so the pursuit of happiness and the incomparable joy of knowing Jesus. Again, just a little bit of background you know, for those of you that have that has joined us only now, no? Because you know we have been quite on this series. I believe this is already the fourth week, one month na po tayo, that we have been studying, that we have been taking a look at the Paul's letter to uh, the Philippian church, no? And so, ito pong in si Paul actually wrote this letter to the believers to the Christians in the city of Philippi. Today po, this city is located in modern-day Greece. Okay? Paul wrote this letter while actually he was in prison. No? Uh, nakakulong po siya. Uh, he was actually in chains. No? Uh, and, and, and the reason he was in chains, it was because of preaching the gospel, preaching about Jesus Christ. Apparently, some people in that day did not see uh, his preaching to be... Uh, Beneficial, so nagalit pa sila and they persecuted him for his not only for his Christianity but for preaching, you know, about Jesus, no. Now, yun nga, the, the thing is, what's interesting, despite the fact that Paul was in chains, no talk about being locked down. No, he was not just merely locked down in his house. He was actually in prison. He was in chains, and yet, kung titingnan po natin, ususuriin po natin yung uh, yung tema nung letter ni Paul sa Philippians, it was dominated by this thing called joy. The major theme of Philippians is joy. No, he keep, keep, keeps on talking about joy and how we need to be rejoicing. No? And it is quite ironic kasi nga, for somebody to be in prison and yet to be talking about joy is, I think, interesting. Di ba? Tayo nga eh. No, we are just bare, no, kumbaga lockdown in our own houses. Our uh, our movement has been limited. And, and hindi naman talaga tayo, talaga tayo talagang nakakulong. But in a way, no, may, yun nga, may limitations tayo. Although nakakalabas pa rin tayo ng bahay natin. And, and yet, a lot of us are feeling discouraged, are feeling down, are feeling depressed. No? And, and probably the last thing that we we are experiencing right now is joy, no, generally speaking. But then, si Paul nga, 
kakaiba. Heto na nakakulong, di ba dapat nalulungkot na siya, dapat discouraged na siya, depressed na siya. And yet, not only was he joyful, he kept on encouraging others, those who were actually, no, who were actually free, no, to be joyful, no. So in fact, uh, the word joy or rejoice was mentioned by Paul 16 times in the four chapters of his letter to Philippians. So last week, uh, in, uh, uh, in the last couple of weeks, pinag-usapan na natin ng Philippians chapter one and chapter two, no. And now, we're going to take a look at chapter 3. Sige, basahin po natin. If, if you have your Bibles, whether a digital Bible or a physical Bible, turn with me to Philippians chapter 3, verses 1, all the way to verse 11. Okay? Allow me to read this in the ESV version of the Bible. Finally, my brothers, rejoice in the Lord. So, ayun, doon pa lang sinabi niya, rejoice in the Lord. To write the same things to you is no trouble to me and is safe for you. Look out for dogs. Look out for evildoers. Look out for those who mutilate the flesh. For we are the circumcision who worship by the Spirit of God and glory in Christ Jesus and put no confidence in the flesh. Though I myself have reason for confidence in the flesh also. If anyone thinks he has reason for confidence in the flesh, I have more circumcised on the eighth day of the people of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrews, no? as to the law, a Pharisee, as to the zeal, a persecutor of the church, as to righteousness under the law, blameless. Okay? But whatever gain I had, I counted loss. No? Sabi niyo, I counted loss for the sake of Christ. Indeed, I counted everything lost because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. For his sake, I have suffered the loss of all things and count them as rubbish in order that I may gain Christ and, and be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ, the righteousness from God that depends on faith, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and may share his sufferings, becoming like him in his death, and that by means possible, I may attain the resurrection of the dead. Okay? Quite an interesting ano, no? interesting uh, uh, letter or, or uh, at this portion no, na sinasabi ni Paul. No? Uh, now, pansinin nyo nga, if, if, if you, yun nga as, as we read it again, may sinasabi dito si Paul no, that uh, sabi niya, in, in fact, it seems that by chapter 3, he is about to close. Okay? He is about to close. Sabi niya na dito, finally, patapos na ako. So, ilang beses niyo nang narinig sa akin yun, yung patapos na ako, only to realize na I still have a lot of words to say. I, I believe that uh, no, that preachers no, are, are prone to that. No, Just when they think they're about to end, then they realize, you know what, I, I, there's still a lot of things that I would like to talk about. No, And apparently, hindi patapos si Paul. No? Na-realize na kaya nga, Chap, na, na, naisulat niya pa yung chapter 3 all the way to chapter 4. No? And then he says this, sabi niya, to write the same things to you is no trouble for me. Apparently, he has been already telling these things over and over again. Okay? And sabi niya, wag kayong magalala. This is not a burden to me. This is not a trouble to me. No? In fact, I, I believe this is for you. This is going to safeguard you. This is for your safety. Look at the I just like to look at different translations. So sabi niya, no, in the in verse 1, finally my brothers rejoice in the Lord to write the same things to you is no trouble for me. No, la, highlight the word the same things. In the New Living Translation, sabi niya diyan, whatever happens, my dear brothers and sisters, rejoice in the Lord. I never get tired of telling you these things. In other words, yeah. No, hindi daw siya napapagod. He keeps on repeating the same things over and over again. In fact, the voice translation no makes it further no straightforward and blunt no same verse the voice translation sabi dito it is time that i wrap up these thoughts my brothers and sisters rejoice in the lord i don't mind writing these things over and over to you as i know it keeps you safe so apparently paul was conscious about something it he was intentional in telling something over and over again and bakit no 
Bakit bakit na ginagawa 'yon? How many of you know that there is uh, there is power in repetition? That when there are things that are repeated to us over and over again, no, those are the things that uh, in a way we get to uh, we get to really memorize, no? It becomes a part of who we are. And, and si Paul, ayaw niya na makalimutan tong aspetong ito. And ano nga yung paulit-ulit niyang sinasabi? No? This has something to do with joy. He keeps on exhorting, encouraging people, rejoice in the Lord. No? Over and over again, he repeats this. You know, he talks about it and it is not a burden to him. Parang siya sabi, hindi ako magsasawang paulit-ulit ito. No? And also, there is a reason why, sabi niya, the reason paulit-ulit ito para ngayon wag mo mako ano, bakit pinuulit-ulit ang mga bagay-bagay para hindi mo makalimutan let's face it no? maraming bagay na magaganda tayo na rin eh. pero ang tendency natin eh makalimutan ito to the point na maisa walang bahala no? we don't remember it and when we don't remember it we, you know, we totally forget it and we don't apply it that's why it's so important to repeat things over and over again no? but not only that sabi niya This is, you know, apparently what he was telling them is something that was going to keep them safe. You know, safe from what? Sabi niya dyan, no, di ba? Okay? I don't mind writing this over and over again. As I know, it keeps you safe. Okay? It protects them. It safeguards them. You know? From what? You know, if we go to the next verse, look at the next verse in verse 2. Safeguard from this particular group of people. Sabi niya, watch out. No? For those dogs, those people who do evil, those mutilators who say, you must be circumcised no? to be saved. For we know who were, for we who worship by the Spirit of God are the ones who are truly circumcised. We rely on what Christ Jesus has done for us and we put no confidence in my own effort if anyone could. Indeed, If others have reason for confidence in their own efforts, I even have more. So just allow me to explain a bit. You know, apparently, Paul was not only encouraging the people you know, not to lose their joy, to keep on rejoicing, but he warns them against what I believe you know, Paul perceives to be as joy killers or people who steals yung joy. Okay? And and. Interestingly, he calls these people dogs. No, he, he uses that word. These are dogs. These are people who do evil and they mutilate the flesh. They, they are mutilators, self-mutilators. But, but for us to better understand what Paul was saying, sabi niya, if others have reason for confidence on their own efforts, apparently this group of people was relying on their own achievements, on their own accomplishments, They were relying on their own efforts, no? Uh, to give us a better picture of this in the Amplified Version, okay? Uh, look at the Amplified Version. Sabi dito ni Paul, look out for the dogs, the Judaizers, the legalists. Okay, allow me to explain that a bit, no? no? Si Paul was writing this letter to the Philippine church. They were what you call Gentiles, or ano ibig sabihin ng mga Gentiles? Hintil. They are non-Jews. Okay. Si Paul was a Jew. He, he was born an Israelite you know, from the tribe of you know, Israel, of, of, of Benjamin. Okay? And, and you know, see, Jesus was a Jew. No? Now, uh, in Christianity stemmed from Judaism. Okay? But, but ang, ang nangyari, eventually, you know, Jesus came to fulfill everything that was what, what, what was in the law or yung, uh, kumbaga, the rituals and traditions of that time. Okay? And everything was fulfilled in Jesus. No? And so people are now to put their trust in Jesus, not in what, no, not, not in the good things that they were doing, not in their own efforts. No? Apparently, some people, though they already gave their lives to the Lord, though they already surrendered their lives to Christ, they end up reverting back to their old way of life. Parang default mode ba? Bumalik sila dun sa, sa dati nilang mga ginagawa, which is what, no? You know, they were putting emphasis on the flesh, on, on, on their own efforts. No, bakit nabanggit yan yung, yung circumcision? No? Kasi nga, they were requiring the Gentiles to be circumcised kasi part yun ng culture ng Judaism. No, na yung, yung, as, yung covenant ni Abraham na kailangan yung mga kalalakihan magpatuli. No? Uh, Doon galing yung tradisyon na yun. Apparently, we as Filipinos, we carry that. No? Uh, probably being a, a, Christian, a Christian nation. No? Pero, 
in nga uh, and this this Judaizers no they they kept on emphasizing not only circumcising uh, the the gentiles but other things no na what Paul was saying was pinapahirapan niyo mga tao with things that really don't matter no so yun kaya kaya sinabi dito now you might be thinking why why the term dogs no i want us to why did Paul call call them dogs? And later on, we're going to be discussing more about this. But I just like to refer, no, to Proverbs chapter twenty six, verse eleven. Okay, sabi dito, as a dog returns to its vomit, so a fool repeats its foolishness. A dog returns to its vomit. Okay, I don't know if you have seen this, no, sa mga aso. And of course, uh, you need to understand during that time, the dogs that uh, roamed. Uh, the nation of Israel or uh, that that ancient period is not it, no hindi dito yung mga aso na ngayon domesticated na mga pets natin no inaalagaan natin sa bahay they are perceived to be friendly loyal playful adorable no i mean who doesn't want to have a dog no we have we have uh, we have two dogs no recently i think si brother EJ bumili ng uh, beagle no a beagle puppy no and then ayo marami sa atin may dogs no but during that time dogs were more of a Stray dogs, no, in the streets, they're more of wild rather than domesticated. And yun nga, there is reason to be afraid of a wild dog. I mean, wala paring uh, rabies vaccine nung panahon na yon. So if there is a there is a huge possibility that those dogs can be rabied. So you wanna you wanna be warned. You wanna be no magingat ka, no mga pag no na bakam magagat ka na mga aso. Pero yung yung idea kasi ng ano aso no, no obvious no. A dog returns to his vomit. How many have seen this? No, na kunyari minsan nasuka yung aso, eh, dahil siguro sa kinain niya. And then normal yun eh. Sa ating uh, sa ating uh, even sa ating mga tao, pag meron ka nakain na hindi maganda, ang response ng katawan mo eh, no, i- i- uh, isuka yan. No, kasi makakasama nga sa iyo. No, kahit you're not aware that what you ate is wrong, but if it's something that would harm you, it's something that is poisonous. No, that's why people have ate spoiled food or poison. The 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 automatic response of the body is to no throw up, magsuka ka, yun yung ilabas mo sa sistema mo because that's gonna kill you, that's gonna destroy you. Okay, and the same way for dogs and all other animals. No, so you would see dogs sa kasi ako ano ano minsan kinakain ng aso. No, makikita mo yung biglang magsusuka. Okay. But you know what is crazy? What is kumaga parang disgusting about dogs? No, no matter how cute they are or ano, yun may tendency talaga na yung suka na sinuka na nila, suka pa naman no kakainin. Iba kaya iba. Ano mo kinain yung suka? Yun nga it, no? Iniluha na ng katawan mo yani, eh, no? Your 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 system was rejecting it, and here you are, no, taking it back again, okay? And and you know, when we when we talk about our old life, no, we already rejected that. We already rejected a life of sin, a life of being in bondage. Let's say to to drugs or to pornography or to hateful living, no, to to bitterness. We we have we are done away with that. We we gave that up already, okay? No, but apparently there are some people who keep on coming back. They keep on coming back to their vomit. No, the the book of Proverbs tells them uh, t- tells us that you know they are likened to fools. No, maybe sabi ng fool. No, hindi na tututo. Hey, no, you're a fool. Kung baga para pag pag hindi tayo na tututo. Nai sabi nga ni kanino na rinig ko si Pastor Mike in the morning service. No, ah, uh, parang wag kang ano, wag kang ah, uh, no tatanga tanga na parang babalikan mo pa yung maling gawain mo. That is a fool. Hey. Okay? So Paul is warning because apparently you know, the Judaizers they kept on going back to their old way of life, and Paul says, "Beware of such people. You don't want to be influenced by such." No, so no, and and the thing is, these people are you know, how I wish that these are people outside the church. Sometimes there these are people that is within you know the confines of the church. They and then or or maybe they used to be part of the church, but then they have go gone back to their old way of life and. And so not everyone who talks to you, you know, uh, you have to you have to ask yourself, how is this person's walk with the Lord? No, no, you don't. No, I'm not saying you unfriend them or no, you you win them back, but then you be careful, you be warned that why would you give weight, no, 
to a person's words. No? Here you are attending church, loving God, and being faithful, and yet no, we are giving way to somebody who has thrown away their faith, who's not even coming to church or, or you know, not even doing a, no, you know, who's living their lives in sin. No? And, and so Paul was addressing that. Why? Why? Apparently, these people will cause you to lose your joy. No? It's going to make life hard for you. It's even my Judaizers. Eh? They were making life so much harder no, for the Gentile Christians. No? You know, they, they, they already, the, 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 the believers in, in, in Philippi, they have already been freed from, from, from the burden of, of, uh, of self-efforts and self at own self-achievements. No? And they, they have experiencing that joy of trusting and putting their faith and confidence only in Christ. And yet here they were you know, being influenced to have confidence again in the things that they already left, that they already rejected. No? So, okay. now, no, si Paul dito, no, ngayon, as a... As, uh, uh, Ito nga yung mga tinatawag na, ano, eh, na joy, uh, joy killers or joy stealers. No? No, Paul, Paul doesn't want us to revert, to, to, to revert back to, to such a kind of life. Okay? Uh, they, they, he warns us of, of these people who have, been, who have confident in their own achievements, who pride, who take pride uh, in, their, in what they have, in what they have done as their source of happiness. Okay? Now, no, there is nothing wrong in pursuit of happiness. I believe that there is nothing wrong in our pursuit of joy. As a human being, we find it on ourselves that, hey, sino ba naman ang taong ayaw sumaya? Lahat tayo naghahanap ng kasiyahan. Lahat tayo gustong sumaya. And I think that is something that has been God-ordained. No, God created us for, for, for His own pleasure for us, I believe, to be happy. Okay? But eh, dito ngayon nagkaroon ng pinagkaiba, no? nagkaroon ng dalawang, same yung, ano eh, same yung goal, no? pero different yung naging pathway, different yung naging pursuits, no? naghiwalay. Okay? And, and ito, pinapakita ni Paul yung malaking pinagkaiba. Now, yun nga, no? just, just to emphasize it again, no? author Lewis Smith said this, no? you and I were created for joy. You and I were created for happiness. If we miss it, we miss the reason for our existence. Wow. If we miss joy, and well, what is this joy? What is the source of joy? If you miss this, okay, you miss the very reason for your own existence. In other words, no, magiging walang kabuluhan o walang saysay ang buhay natin. Kaya napakahalaga pala, mat, ma, no, Mat, ma, mapuntahan natin o mahanap talaga natin ano ba tong joy na to ano ba tong true joy na to kasi baka merong mga false joys no or may merong mga uh, sa tingin natin no ways of pursuing it but then it no uh, it doesn't it doesn't really give us no what uh, what we are actually looking for naalala ko tuloy itong ano another uh, it's not in my in, in my not in my slides, no. But I think in Proverbs chapter sixteen, verse twenty-five, so we don't, There is a way which seems right unto a man, no. But the end thereof are the ways of death. In other words, no. There is a path that you might think is right. That in your pursuit of joy, you think, siguro ito by by doing this, by by getting this, no. Emahanap ko talaga ito na nagalak, ito na nakasiyahan. Only to realize, sabi ni Proverbs, no, akala mo tama, akala mo ito yung magbibigay sa inang saya. But at the end of it, no, kabiguan lang pala. Okay? Sino nang ingay? Sino nang nabigo? <laughs> no, how many of us have pursued something thinking that this is what's going to give us real joy? Only to, no, only to reach the end of it and realize there's nothing there but just plain emptiness. No, apparently it didn't satisfy us with the satisfaction that we are, no, desiring. Okay? And so, no, ito na yung ano, ito na yung pinakita ni Paul. In fact, yun nga, sabi ko nga kanina, mahalaga yung joy. No? In, uh, 
In fact, in uh, the Declaration of Independence, gusto ko lang basahin to, the Declaration of Independence of the United States of America, no, which was uh, written no, and then proclaimed in July 4, 1776, yung patriarchs or yung forefathers ng ano, America. Dati ka po kasi, ang uh, USA, United States of America, colony lang yan ng, ano, ng Britain. No, but then in July 4, 1776, they declared no, uh, you know, their independence. And in their declaration of independence, ito yung, ito yung sinabi nila at the beginning, sabi niya, we hold these truths to be self-evident, sacred and undeniable. You cannot deny this now. That all men are created equal. And that they are endowed by their creator. No, first of all, that idea that, no, no, pinapakita nila dito that they believe in a crea- creator. No, not, not in evolution. They believe in a creator. All men were created equal by God, the creator with certain unalienable un- un- rights. That among these are, ano tong rights na to? Yung karapatan daw, the right to life, the right to liberty. And interestingly, sinama nila, in the pursuit of happiness. Okay? You know, this is an un- un- alienable rights. No, sacred, undeniable. No, dapat ang tao, binibigyan sila ng, ano, ng karapatan to pursue happiness. Pero yun nga, dito ngayon, maghihiwalay. No, in our pursuit to happiness, san, paano natin hinahanap yung kasiyahan? Okay? Now, allow me to, no, to, no, to uh, what's this, classify this into two things. No? As, as, as we can see that this is how Paul did it. No? Okay? The first is what I call worthless pursuits. Versus Worthy pursuits. No? So, ano itong mga worthless pursuits na to? Okay. Psychologists, modern psychologists of our day have suggested that yung happiness daw consists of three distinct elements. No? As written by uh, uh, Martin Seligman. Um, si, kung si Martin Seligman is a famous psychologist, I remember uh, 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 yung kayo is one of our textbooks in college no, when I was taking up communication arts in UP. Okay. So, sinadjust ni Martin Seligman, no? And uh, binanggit din ni sa, sa kanilang book ni Seligman, Steen, Park and Peterson in 2005, no? And this is what they said, no? Happiness consists of three distinct elements: the pleasant life, the good life, and the meaningful life, no? So, kung gusto mo daw magkaroon ng ano, ng uh, kaligayahan, ng joy, ito yung tatlong bagay na i-pursue mo, no? No, the pleasant life, the good life, and the meaningful life. Kanda, examine natin ito. No, so, the pleasant life, what is the pleasant The pleasant life is realized to the attainment of uh, day-to-day pleasures no, that add fun, joy, and excitement to our lives. So, okay, in other words, an pleasant life? We want pleasure. We are creatures of pleasure. Ano ba yung mga bagay na ma-enjoy natin? At minsan yun na hinahanap natin, no? yung saan tayo masaya, saan tayo makakanap na excitement. Example, no? yung iba masaya with no? sa mga may asawa, sa may mga ano, may relationship, evening walks with your partner, with your husband, no? evening, although hindi na siguro magawa, kaya siguro marami nalulungkot, ano yung Pag mag-evening walk ka ngayon, baka ma-curfew ka. Hindi na joyful yun. <laughs> so, baka madala ka sa barangay. No? So, uh, eh, y- so yung, yung evening walks, no? or, or even pleasure, no? uh, fulfill, no? uh, fulfilling uh, sex life. Okay? And of course, you need to understand that a lot of people think of sex just pleasure, but the most pleasurable sex can only be found in the bounds of a legally binding marriage. Okay? Some people think that uh, sex in itself is satisfying, but then, hindi na eh. Okay? No? So, ito yung ano, no? the pleasant life. No? Ano pa ba? Uh, eating your favorite dish, no? or enjoying a dessert like ice cream, yung mga engaging into pleasures. No? Uh, biking, kung asaya ka nagbabike, Parang sa mga plantito, plantita, yung mga, you find pleasure in your, uh, in the plants that you grow. Okay? Now, let's say, no, and, and, and maaari, pwede naman, totoo, no, the pleasant life, but, 
talaga bang talaga bang ano dun dun ba talaga tayo makakanap ng joy no in Ecclesiastes chapter 2 verses 1 to 3 verse 8 and 10 to 11 Si, uh, si Solomon said this, sabi niya, and you need to understand, Solomon was the richest of all kings of Israel. He was also the most, kumaga parang, had the most extensive kingdom, no? and the most wise. And this is what Solomon said, I said to myself, come on, let's try pleasure. Subukan lang natin itong pleasure. Let's look for the good things in life. But I found that this too was meaningless. So I said, laughter is silly. What good does it do to seek pleasure? After much thought, I decided to cheer myself with wine. So, yun nga, sinumbukan nga, makapag, makainom nga. Sino dito, we find pleasure nga. We find pleasure in wine. Tayo na nga yun, nag, naglasing siya, minum siya. And while still seeking wisdom, I clutched to foolishness. In this way, I tried to experience the only happiness most people find during their brief, in, brief life in this world. No? Verse 8. Ano ginawa niya? I collected great sums of silver and gold. Nagpakayaman siya. The treasure of many kings and provinces. I hired wonderful singers. No, in other words, enjoy niya yung music, no? Men and women and many beautiful concubines. Wow, as a as a man, no? He he indulged himself in sexual pleasures, no? Kabi kung alam mo kung gaano kadami yung naging concubines, no? Sabay nating kabit ni Solomon, no? Mahigit tatlong daan. And besides pa dun sa Tatlong daan niya din asawa. Wow! Kung pleasure, sexual pleasure nila pag-uusapan, no? And, and, no? Sabi, I had everything a man could desire. No? No? Isn't it true that at some point, you, know, you might think that this is what every man desires no? for, for the men? Anything I wanted, I would take. I denied myself no pleasure. I even found great pleasure in hard work, a reward for all my labors. But I, but as I looked at everything I'd worked so hard to accomplish, it was all so meaningless, like the chasing of the wind. Wow, para lang. Ano sabi niya? No, apparently the pleasant life didn't really give him the joy that he was looking for. At the end of the day, he found himself feeling empty. Sabi niya nga, meaningless. There was nothing really worthwhile anywhere. Grabe, no? For someone na naranasan yung lahat yun, yung, yung sabi niya, there was nothing really worthwhile anywhere. Okay? Ano pa, yun niya, the second, the second thing that the psychologist propose in order no, to have a, a joyful life is the good life in the pursuit of happiness. No? Ano naman yung good life? This is found in achievements through some form of accomplishments. No, masaya ka kasi nakagraduate ka, may certificate. There's nothing wrong with those things, no? Eh, yung, kumbaga, meron kang title, may posisyon, you know, it's what, it, it's when, what the world deems successful, no? Narating mo yung mga pinapangarap mo. Naging boss ka, naging manager ka, nakabili ka ng, no, kotse mo, lupa, no? And, okay, no, well, Maybe, maybe at a certain level, it will do you some joy. But is it a joy that is lasting? Again, let's look at somebody who actually did experience this. No? And apparently, the same person is Solomon. Not only did he engage in all kinds of pleasure. Look at verse 4. No? I made great works. In other words, he is an achiever. Talk about projects. Talk, some, talk about what he finished. No, sabi niya, I built houses. Tayo, masaya na tayo. Makagawa, maka, makagawa ka lang ng dream house mo. Si, 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 si Solomon, houses, planted. No, ito, major plantito. <laughs> no, check that out. Planted vineyards for myself. Hindi lang isa, vineyards. No? I made myself gardens and parks. Okay? Walang kwenta yung mga mini-mini garden natin dyan. Sa parke. Eh. No, planted them all in all kinds of fruit trees. No, I made pools from which water, uh, in, in, from which to water the forest of growing trees. Gabi major plantito talaga to forest ang ginawa. Okay, sangkapa. I brought male and female slaves who were born in my house. I also get had a great possession of herbs and flax. Hindi lang plantito, eren, no, eredero pa, ranchero. No more than anyone who had ever been before in Jerusalem. So I became great and surpassed all who were before me in Jerusalem. Also in my wisdom, my wisdom remained with me. Then I considered all the hands that I had done and the toil that I had expected, expended in doing it. 
And behold, all was vanity as striving after the wind. Grabe, no? Sabi niya at the end of the day, it was vanity, it was vain, it was for all nothing, it was a chasing after the wind. Para lang daw humahabol ng hangin. So I turned about and gave up my heart to despair. Nalungkot pa siya, no? Over all the toil of my labors under the sun. Because sometimes a person who has toiled with wisdom and knowledge and skill must leave everything to be enjoyed by someone who did not toil for it. Yung, yung, yung reality na iiwan mong lahat ng pinaghirapan mo, na enjoy ng mga taong hindi naman naghirap dun sa pinaghirapan mo. What does a man from all the toil and striving heart with which he toils beneath the sun for all these days are full of sorrow? No, yun nga, iban, no? nagkasakit ka lang, hindi mo ma-enjoy yung pinaghirapan mo, namatay ka lang sa COVID. Even in the night, his heart does not rest. This is also vanity, ibig sabihin, meaningless. That's the, the search for meaningful life. Kaya gusto natin na parang buhay na may, kahit paano may meaning. No? And, and, and what is that? Maybe in terms of using our talents in the service of the greater good. No? Look at uh, verse 4 uh, verse four to 7 once again. This time in the NLT. So I also to, try to find meaning by building homes for myself. You know, he searched for meaning. No? But then look at verse 11. But as I looked at everything I had worked so hard for, no? in other words, you know, despite the fact that he, 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 he shared his success, diba? he hired slaves. No? Pin, no? In other words, no, nag, uh, nag, nag, nagkaroon ng, kumbaga pa sa panahon natin, no? nakatayo siya ng negosyo, na nakatulong sa mga tao, nakap, nagbigay ng pagkain sa 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 tables ng iba no he he looked for meaning but then sabi there was nothing really worthwhile anywhere okay and and all this is what i call worthless pleasures i remember of ano i'm reminded of a of ano a famous person by the name of Kurt Cobain Okay, kung kalala niya si Kurt Cobain, si Kurt Cobain was a major rocker in the ano, in the 80s no or, or was it 90s no and and, and, and he led a uh, siya yung mga unang ano nagpopularize ng rock band no he was uh, the lead singer of the rock group Nirvana grabe noon yung following niya knowing na wala pang internet no na hindi pa ganoon yung globalization and yet he had a following of what you call the grunge movement that has about a million followers. No, ngayon kasi parang wala na yung one million. Yung pag- Pero nung yung talaga, yung fans talaga, solid fans. No? And, and he was very successful. But at the peak of his career, no, he committed suicide. Okay? He got a gun and no, pointed at his mouth and blew his brains out. How can someone who was so successful, so young, so successful, at the peak of his life, kill himself. Interestingly, itong si Kurt Cobain, before he committed suicide, he writes, he wrote a letter to, uh, to, ano eh, to actually, he writes this to an imaginary friend from his childhood, no? no? And, and uh, allow me to read this letter because it's a tragic letter, no? And papakita ko sa inyo na, yun nga, despite ng sobrang merong ka sa mundong ito. Wala doon eh, wala doon yung kasiyahan. Nung sinubukan siguro to ni Kurt Cobain, no, in the hopes na makakahanap siya ng tunay na kasiyahan dito, pero ang nangyari, after all that he has experienced, no, he was empty. Look at this, sabi niya, no, to Boda, this was his ano, suicide letter, speaking from the tongue of an experienced simple tone, who obviously would rather be an emasculated infantile complaining, this note should be pretty easy to understand. This is what he said. Sabi niya, all the warnings from Punk Rock 101 courses over the years, since my, fir- since my first introduction to the, shall we say, ethics involved with the independence and embracement, okay, no, to the embracement of, our, of your community has proven to be very true. I haven't felt the excitement of listening to as well as creating music along with reading and writing for too many years now. I feel guilty beyond words about these things. No, sabi niya, uh, hindi niya na daw makita yung excitement no? of, of listening to as well as creating music na, ma, na dati parang yun yung source ng saya niya. Sabi niya, I feel guilty beyond words about these things. For example, 
when we're backstage and the lights go out and the manic roar of the crowds begins, it doesn't affect me in the way it, no? in which it did for Freddie Mercury. Kilala ni si Freddie Mercury. Di ba recently nagkaroon ng movie si Freddie Mercury, no? And, 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 and yun nga, no? Nakikita nyo na parang si Freddie Mercury tuwang-tuwa na. Eh, siya mas... Ganun din siya kasi katay, Freddie Mercury. Pero sabi niya, no? It doesn't affect me, no? The way, the way, uh, what I see it does to, to, to him. Sabi niya, no, who seem to love and relish in the love and adoration of the crowd, which is something I totally admire and envy. Hindi ba, hindi ba yun nga yung gusto natin? Hindi ba gusto natin ng likes? Gusto natin ng, yun nga, no, ba't ka nagtitiktok? Gusto mo sumikat, gusto makilala, gusto mo may maipagyabang ka, gusto mong pinupuri ka na maraming tao, ina-appreciate ka, and then you need to understand, no, this people, this person, si, si, so he had all that. He had the adoration of literally millions of people. What did you ask more? And yet, sabi niya, I, I, I can I can find myself excited. It doesn't affect me. The fact is, sabi niya, I can fool you. No? I can fool you or any one of you. Pangun na siya, it simply isn't fair for you or for me. The worst crime I can think of would be to rip people off by faking it and pretending as if I'm 100% having fun. Hindi nga daw kaya na parang parang pinipeking niya lang na masaya siya pero hindi siya masaya no? and he doesn't want to deceive people na ayaw niya ayaw niya i-deceive yung mga tao na masaya to na pag nakuha niyo itong meron ako sasaya din kayo akala niyo masaya to pero hindi no? this is a major famous rocker this is what he's saying sabi niya dito I've tried everything within my power to appreciate it and I do God believe me I do but it's not enough I appreciate the fact that I that I and we have affected and entertained a lot of people. It must be one of those narcissists who only appreciate the things when they've gone, when they're gone. No, I'm too sensitive. Okay. No. Let, let me skip a couple of things. No, sabi ang ganon. Okay. Sabi niya dito. No, and then he talks about yung success. And sabi niya, I have a goddess of a wife. Kada na asawa nito, no. Sabi, I have a goddess of a wife, para daw Diyosa, who sweats ambition, and an empathy, and a daughter who reminds me too much of what I used to be. Nakita niya yung kanyang anak, yung kanyang daughter. Sabi niya, full of love, joy, kissing every person she meets because everyone is good and will do her no harm. And it terrifies me, sabi niya dito, that to the point where I can barely function. I can't stand the thought that of Francis, yung kanyang anak, becoming a miserable, self-destructive death rocker that I've become. He fears that this lovely, innocent child that he has no, would come like him. So I mean, I have it good, very good. And I'm grateful. But since the age of seven, I've become hateful towards all humans in general. Tataka ka bakit? Only because it seems so easy for people to get along that have empathy. Only because I love and feel sorry for people too much, I guess. Thank you. All from the pit of my ito, thank you all from the pit of my burning nauseous stomach for your letters and concern during the past years. I'm too much erratic, moody. I don't have the passion anymore. And so remember, it's better to burn out than to fade away. Peace, love, empathy. Kurt Cobain. Oh, tas mayroon pa siyang pahabol sa mga Francis and Courtney, anak at asawa niya yun. I'll be at your altar. Please, please keep going, Kurt. Please keep going, Courtney, for Francis for her life, which I will be so much happier without me. I love you. I love you. And then, he gets the gun and no, nagpakamatay siya. <laughs> and you might think like for someone who has pursued the good life, the pleasant life, and he did pursue a meaningful life. He found himself wanting and empty. Kaya pala sabi ni Jesus, di ba? No? Matthew 6 verse 26. Okay? And what do you benefit? Okay? What will it benefit you if he gains the whole world? Well, you know, sabi dito, whole world, but lose your own soul. Is anything more, more worth, far more worth than your soul? In the Amplified Version, what does it profit a man? Oh nga, you gain the whole world. What is wor the whole world here? Wealth, fame, success, and loses or forfeits himself. No? Now, si Paul, 
Okay? And, and that's why Paul was saying, don't be like that. Don't, don't, don't go back to your accomplishments in finding joy. There is a much better way. There's another, no? No, there's, no? And, and, and si Paul sinabi niya, kung pag-uusapan rin lang natin na accomplishments, huwag niyo isipin na wala ako noon. Sabi niya, meron din ako noon. In fact, baka mas matindi pa nga sa nakararami sa inyo. No? Apparently, merong, merong, sinasa, merong parang sinasagot si Paul. Apparently, merong mga arguments sa kanya na baka wala naman siyang kwentang tao, baka wala siyang achievement. Pero dito, sabi niya, no? okay? Pinag- sinabi niya mga achievements na, though I could have confidence in my own effort, if anyone could, indeed, if others have reason for confidence in their own efforts, I have even more. Okay? Circumcision pag-uusapan kasi mahalaga yun sa mga Jews. No? Sabi niya, I was circumcised when I was eight years old. Okay? I am a pure-blooded citizen of Israel, a member of the tribe of Benjamin. O, a real Hebrew, no? a Hebrew of Hebrew. Sabi niya nga, wala nang, wala nang titindi pa. If there was one, I was a member of the Pharisees. You know, Pharisees, this is the most, uh, uh, kumbaga parang, uh, the, the most respected sect, religious sect at that time who demand the strictest obedience to the Jewish law. I was so zealous that I harshly persecuted the church. And as for righteousness, I obeyed the law without fault. In some translations, I'm mean, blameless. He was close to perfection. And really, he admitted it. Look at verse 7. I once thought that these things, you know, I thought that these were the things that were valuable. In other words, I thought that these were the things that matter. I thought these were the things that are really important. Yung achievements, yung, yung position, yung sarili kong, ano, sarili kong uh, gawa. Okay? And then he shifts. But, no, from worthless pursuits. He shifts to the worthy pursuit. But now, I consider them worthless because of what Christ has done. Yung mga bagay na pinahalagahan ko, yung mga bagay na akala ko magbibigay sa akin ng tunay na saya at kaligayahan, wala doon, sabi niya, wala doon. Hindi ko doon nakita. Natagpuan ko lang, no? Sa Panginoon Heso Kristo. And he was not talking about religion, he was talking about the reality of experiencing Jesus of which he found the truest of joy. He found it worthless. I worthless yun. Wala ka mapapa. At the end, yes, meron konting kalagayahan may bibigay, but at the end, wala. No? And what is a worthy pursuit? To the point na sabi niya, willing niyang, yun nga eh, kinonsider niyang walang kwenta. No? Compared Kaya kayo yung title natin, ano, The Pursuit of Happiness and the Incomparable Joy of Knowing Jesus. Look at, no? Di ba sabi dito sa verse, ano? Okay. Verse, Philippians chapter 3, verse 7 to 8. But whatever I used to count as my greatest accomplishments, I've written them off as a loss. Okay. In some translations, I have written them off as dung as, ano yung dung, sabi niya, no, tingin ko dun is, ebbs no tayo, sabi niya, dung, dry baits, basura, in other words, wala na, ibababa pa yun, is, no, I use it, you compare it, he compared yung accomplishments na, yung titles na, yung natapos na, yung certificate na, to the point, tatawagin niyang basura ng lahat ng yun, uh, if compared to Jesus, and more so, I now realize that I all I gained and thought was important was nothing but yesterday's garbage compared to knowing the anointed Jesus, my love. For Him, I have thrown everything aside. It's nothing but a pile of waste, yung dung, so that I may gain Him. And wow! No, and, and, and yun nga, no, Jesus. No? is a true pursuit of joy. Allow, allow me to close. No? So Paul, how does he, no, how does he, ano, encourage the Philippians in their pursuit of Christ, in this worthy pursuit? No? In Philippians chapter 3, verse 12 to 13, no? first, he tells us to, number one, Press on. Okay. 
He tells us to press on. Can can I, can I invite the worship team? No? We are encouraged to press on. Okay? Basahin ko ah, verse 12. Not that I've already obtained it. This goal of being Christ-like or have already been made perfect. But I actively press on so that I may take hold of that perfection for which Christ Jesus took hold of me and made me His own. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider that I have made it my own yet. No, I, I like that part. Of Sarabi, brothers and sisters, I do not consider that I have made it already. In, in the, the ERV version of the Bible, sabi niya, I know that I still have a long way to go. Now, when you have that attitude na, hey, I still have a long way to go. That causes you to press only. The only reason people don't press on anymore is because they think they're done. Tapos na ako. Okay na ako. No? Well, and, and I think that that uh, no, and, and I, I think that is what you call pride into thinking that you have it all together. See Paul, despite all his accomplishments, Even in his faith, you know. See, Paul, by this time, he has planted several churches. He, he has, you know, he, he was an apostle. And, and he could already, in a way, boast in those things of being called an apostle of Christ to the Gentiles, to have planted churches, to have seen miracles in his life. But even those things, sabi niya, I'm not even considering this, no, na parang, I, I am already here. I'm, I'm done it. No, so I, I still have a long way to go. Can I can I tell you that? No, I still have a long way to go. Maybe there's more to Jesus than than what you think. There's more to Christianity than just what attending church. You really think that Christianity is just about no attending a Sunday service or an online Sunday service and that's it. No, this is our life. Sabi nga, di ba? Sabi, no, Jesus himself said, and this is life eternal that they may know you, the only God, and Jesus Christ whom you sent. No? Kaya nga yung ating, yung ating cry, yung ating declaration, no? yung vision natin to know Christ and make Him known. Okay, let's keep on pressing on. Let's not stop. Let not this pandemic, let not the circumstances prevent us or limit us or stop us. So just because we can't physically go to church, no, we will allow our pursuit or our, our pressing on of Christ, no, of serving Him, of being of service to, 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 to the church, stop us? No, are we simply endeavor, no, uh, for example, just ang, ang, ang pinipursue lang natin, careers natin, uh, no, maging successful lang, nandun ba yung joy? Wala nga eh, sabi ito, no, Buti nga na, sana kung si Kurt Cobain lang, no, you have no, people like Elvis Presley and, and uh, Michael Jackson and all these famous people who at the end of their lives, despite everything, there was nothing there because they failed to realize that the true source of joy is Jesus. But for you, for you and me who, who know this, let's press on. Okay, number two, forget the past. Philippians 3 verse 13, sabi ang brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but one thing I do, sabi niya, this is one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind. Okay? In the ERV, sabi dito, I forget what is in the past. Yung mga bagay, natapos na eh, done na, huwag mo nang balikan, huwag mo nang, no? well, don't revel in the past, whether it be your failures, whether it be your mistakes, or whether it be your successes. No? Ako, gustong-gusto ko yung song na kinanta natin kanina, yung In Christ Alone. Okay? In Christ Alone. No? I put my trust, I put my confidence. No? Okay? I, I find my glory. It, it, you know, kasi, pansin ninyo, may sinabi si, si, si Paul doon sa start, sabi niya, no, are we glory in Christ Jesus? Kasi apparently, there are people who glory in what? Who glory in their accomplishments, who glory in their achievements, who glory in uh, what? Their their no uh, their physical beauty their muscles their, their all, all those are passing okay? forget the past 
Forget the past. Let not uh, stop you. There's so much more. Don't let the stop hinder you. Okay? No, even when it, when there's a, a, a past of mistakes or failures or successes, no? don't revel in those. There's more. There's more. And thirdly, no? eyes on the prize. Okay? Press on. Forget the past. Eyes on the prize. Ano yung eyes on the prize? No? Si Paul, makikita niyo, parang illustration dito. He, you're talking about a runner who's running. Okay? And who's forgetting. No, you know, a runner doesn't look back. I mean, no, no. He keeps on running. No, The most important thing for him is the finish line. In fact, sometimes when a runner gets distracted and looks you know, at this competition, compare himself with others, that's the time they actually lost. When they they did no, sino man nakita dito that they they got distracted that they're already winning. Panalo na ako only na matalo dahil yun nga eh, they they had confidence or oh, na overconfident no. Pero yun yun a real runner focus no focuses on the prize eyes on the prize eyes on the future. And sino tong sino tong future na to? I'm not just talking about future in terms of success or or, or no eyes on Jesus. The goal is not even well. Or fame, no? All those are meaningless already. Alam na natin yon. But the goal is Christ likeness, no? Er reverse on brothers and sisters. I know that I still have a long way to go, but there is one thing I do: I forget what is in the past and try as hard as I can to reach the goal before me. I try as hard as I can. And in Corinthians, sabi ni Paul, I beat my body. I discipline myself. Yung nga problema kasi some people lack discipline. No, no. Let's discipline ourselves. Let's bring our body to to to, to a submission of 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 Christ. No, I keep running. Keep going. Keep going. Diba? You keep on going until you reach the finish line to get the prize. What is that prize? That is mine because God has called me to Christ Jesus. No, to, to Christ Jesus, to life up there in heaven, that kind of life, the life in Jesus, a Christ-like life. Right? Praise God. No, and let let that be our pursuit. No, let's keep on pressing on. Let's not give up. Let's not stop. Let's do. Let let it. No, far it be na maisip natin na okay ka, okay na tayo. I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I'm successful already. I'm good with my Christian life already. Nagate naman ako ng church kahit paano. Hindi naman ako nang magawa ng masama. No, relying on your own efforts again. No, Let's forget the past and strive, press on, keep on doing it. Okay, I want us to pray. Lord, I just want to thank you, God, for this afternoon. Now, thank you for reminding us that you are the prize. That there is nothing that can be compared to you. Si Paul, Lord, naranasan niya eh. Naranasan niya maging successful. Pagdating sa bragging rights o sa accomplishments, laki ng accomplishments niya. Lord, si Solomon, he has achieved so many things and yet he Everything he said, everything was meaningless, and then we see that, we see that being repeated in history by people who pursued fame and wealth and and self uh, uh, and and Lord, their, their selfish ambitions, Lord God, only to realize that there was nothing there. That at the end of the day, everything was really worthless, not even worth fighting for or striving for. Lord, we pray that we will not pursue that path. Not that we do, not that we are not going to be achievers anymore, or not that we are not uh, pursue uh, uh, pursue to study, or but Lord, more importantly, that you be our number one pursuit. And I pray right now for people. Go ahead, just just if you have not been pressing on. If you have somehow stagnated, no, parang tumigil ka na, parang 
especially in your spiritual life. And I want you to renounce that. I want you to renounce every inch of that that that, that spirit that that makes you think that I'm okay. I'm I'm good with this already. No, don't be stagnant with your Christian life. Okay? Don't 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 think that this is it. There's more. There's more to knowing Christ. Press on. Forget the past. Forget the past. If you made mistakes, forget it. If you have had successes, still forget it. There's more to Christ. There's more to this life. There's more people that needs to know Jesus. We cannot stop right now. Let's have eyes on the prize. Don't get distracted. Don't get distracted by circumstance. Don't get distracted because things are different now. Dahil ngayon, no? COVID, hindi natin magawa yung mga gusto natin gawin. Don't be distracted. Even use that as opportunities. No, don't don't wallow in depression, thinking that you cannot get. No, sometimes you know, we we can't get it our own way. We submit to the Lord. No, I, I hallelujah. I'm reminded of of the parable of uh, the talents. I uh, mean, the parable of the great of. Pearl of Great Price. That man, I'm sorry, the, uh, uh, a man who was looking for the finest pearl, sees one, sees one that is of you know, great value to the point that it's incomparable. And he sells everything that he has. In other words, all his wealth cannot be compared you know, to this pearl. The pearl is not like other. Pagpapalit niya lahat. And in, sabi ni Jesus, that is the kingdom of God. When you find God, when you find Jesus, I'm not talking about religion. Religion is, yeah, it's worthless. But when you find Jesus, the person of Jesus, what Jesus has done for you, there's nothing. That's why si Paul, sabi niya, kahit mawala sa akin lahat ng ito, in fact, I consider them worthless already compared to Jesus. And maybe today, you know, some of you, that's what you need. You, you need Jesus. There's nothing like Him. There's nothing like Him. And today, may I encourage you to surrender your life to Him, to know Him. Just simply say, Lord, I want to know You. If what, you no, know, maybe you're thinking, if if if, if there is truth to what this pastor is saying, I want to know You. Christ that can change my life, a Christ that can set me free you know, from my own self-efforts, from my own trying to prove myself. May gusto akong patunayan. Set me free from all my insecurity. Set me free from my fear. Set me free from whatever it is that's holding me back from the bondages of sin. If you want to do that, if you want Jesus to set you free, mula sa, you know, maybe your bondage to lust, to pornography, to bitterness, You want to experience Christ. Pray with me right now. Once again, I want to pray for you. Everyone who wants to give their lives to Jesus. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, go ahead, say these words with me. Lord Jesus, today, Lord, I want to know you. Go ahead, tell that to Jesus. Tell us to the Lord. Tell the Lord, Lord, I want to know you. I want to know you from my heart. I want to experience you the way Paul experienced you. In order, I would trade anything and everything in this world to know you in the same way that Paul did. Lord, you said it in your word that this is life eternal to know you, to know God. And Lord, today, I surrender my life to you. I surrender my life to you. I'm sorry for my sins. Forgive me, Lord. It's starting today. I will follow you. I invite you into my heart. Live in me, Lord. Change me. Transform me. Cleanse me of my past. Cleanse me of my sins. In Jesus' name. Amen. Can we just can we just sing that song?
knowing you or in Christ alone. Just, just, just sing it. put our trust in you and your son Jesus Christ and what he has done for us only in Christ alone in Jesus name Amen Amen You're watching Destiny Church If you would like to check more resources or donate to this ministry you can download the Destiny Church PH official app or Log on to www.destinychurch.org.ph slash give.